People have debated the existence of God for thousands of years. Most conclude it cannot be proven one way or the other. The majority think the answer lies in abstract philosophy and the metaphysical. Others become agnostics, asserting they don't know if God exists. Those who do accept His existence often do so passively, merely because they were taught it from childhood. Atheists, having concluded God does not exist, represent a special category God describes. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. You will learn why God twice calls atheists fools. Friday, I'd like to talk to you about God. God? Your maker, the creator. God. He made everything. He made you. Fuck yeah. Fuck him. Fuck yeah, God. Crocodile, huh? Before long time, no land, only water. In Genesis. Pakia live in the water. He make Timpopo. He make Tampopo. He make the sun and the moon, aye. Mm -hmm. Sun and moon marry, they make baby. Man. Make all men. Make me. No. God made you. Pakia. You can't worship a crocodile. Why not? Teeth of crocodile. And is this crocodile, this Pakia? Tell you to eat the flesh of your enemies. Make strong. You eat fish, swim good. You eat lizard, climb good. You eat hard, make strong. This is pagan blasphemy, Friday. The true God is greater and more powerful. The true God is love. He teaches us to love our enemies. Back here. He's not God. Show me God. I can't show you God. I show you, Pakia. Yeah, you show God. You cannot see God. He's in the spirit. He's in the soul. I see spirits in the trees. I see spirit in fish and animals. I see everywhere. Here. Here is God. Here is the living proof of God, his sacred word. This is the living testament to his love, his wisdom, his divine plan here. Wait, I see no, no God. You, you have to read it. Now look at it, son, you heathen savage. This blasphemy and your soul shall be damned to eternal torments. I know like your God. I know like you. Forget all those who trespass against us, against you. Understanding our past determines actively our ability to understand the present. So, how do we sift truth from belief? 
How do we write our own histories, personally or culturally, and thereby define ourselves? How do we penetrate years, centuries of historical distortion to find original truth? Tonight, this will be our quest.